Hey guys, welcome to the channel, and this is a speed build that I did, I think, a few days ago. But yeah, I was looking at the park in Oasis Springs, and I was thinking to myself, man, this isn't really what I want. Especially because, you know, just looking at the surrounding uh, buildings that are around it, they're very Mediterranean, uh, Spanish-themed, or influenced. So I thought it would be really, really cool to do a uh, like an old Spanish mission. And maybe, you know, since it's been abandoned, the city thought it would be a good idea to kind of remake the old mission into a public park so that's the idea of it and uh if you don't know too much about missions the missions especially in california they were established by the catholic priests uh between 1769 and 1833 to expand christianity to the native americans that lived in that area at the time uh, so yeah, a lot of my family is in California, so I'm pretty familiar with the missions that are there. I've visited a few, and to be honest, they're a little bit creepy, and so I, I kind of wanted to uh, leave a few things behind in the mission, so there is, you know, a desk and some old books and some paintings that maybe the Sim monks left behind. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so it was kind of a fun build, and I made the traits, I think, haunted, having earthquakes, and romantic. Because the way that I did the landscaping, I think it would be a, a romantic getaway for maybe... Uh, your sims and a fun little adventure for your teenager sims at night to go to to kind of explore and uh, see who's haunting the old Spanish mission. So yeah, I at first I wanted to use these tiles that I found. They are custom content, but I ended up changing them back to just regular uh, tiles. This here is supposed to be like a bell tower because most missions had a bell uh, to signal time or special events or mass. So yeah, it's just a little uh, fun build. I was unsure about those doors that came with City Living. I felt like the shape of them were perfect and I loved the window panes, but unfortunately the blue glass got me thinking, I don't know about it. <laughs> I can't remember if I kept it or if I just changed it later, but at any rate, that's kind of what I was thinking about the door. At this point, I was like, well, it looks kind of odd. I feel like there should be some type of, uh, some type of area of the building to the right of it because it was looking... I don't know. It was just looking kind of weird to me, so I changed uh, that part of the the building, and I ended up making that part into a little kitchen because I feel like in all missions they have an area for services. They have an area for uh, the, you know the kitchen, so the monks could make food for themselves, and they also had. Uh, dormitories. I didn't really specifically put an area for services because, after all, the city has remade the mission to be more of a community lot. So the kitchen is still there. If your sims are hungry, they can make themselves some food or whatever. I also have a barbecue on the lot. But yeah, it was really fun and it was nice to make something I haven't made in a while. I did make a, like a Spanish-inspired mansion. I never recorded it because that was before I made my channel, but it is on the gallery if you are interested. And yeah, 
I think that the gallery is considering this lot modded, but it's not, I promise. So, if you want to download it, you can. My at name is Irrelevant7 on the gallery. And, yeah, so I was just, uh, you know, making some parts look older than other parts. So maybe it's still being renovated. And I really want the landscaping to kind of have the same feeling as the area around it. So more um, arid type bushes and trees that would make sense for the area in a lot of spanish uh builds you know either residential or a church or whatever they usually had a fountain and like a front courtyard as well as a back courtyard so that's basically what i was doing here just adding some cactuses around because i imagine that uh, well, I was heavily inspired by California and the missions that are there. So this little awkward area over to the right, <laughs> it won't look as awkward once there's more stuff around it, but this is like a little seating area. Um, I was going to put the chess tables here, but I ended up putting those on the inside of the building instead because I thought that the... Uh, that little area in the front would be better to have like a, another fountain and like some seating around it. So it would be nice for uh, pictures of your sims if you're into that. So over here to the left of the building, I wanted to put the kids uh, play stuff. I thought the pirate ship would be pretty appropriate for this since uh, I feel like pirates were pretty relevant during this time period, and uh, so yeah, that's why I put that there in a little jungle gym, some trees to add some shade to the kids' area. wanted to add more detail to the front courtyard, so I took these really pretty jars from, I think they're from City Living, and I just sized one up and then put some plants on the inside using the Move Objects cheat. And I felt like I needed more greenery in the courtyard, so I added those really nice hedges that came with the uh, perfect patio. And I wanted it to look old still, so I made sure to add, like, kind of mossy benches and broken uh, rubble or ruins kind of scattered about inside and outside the build because... Yeah, it's, it's a really, really old building, and the city hasn't really gotten around to renovating it completely, so it's still under construction. That's why some of it is has the exposed plaster, and some of it is smooth. Here's just a little bathroom on the side. I imagine the bathrooms were added later, since, you know, most old buildings just had outhouses. I love those uh, stairs that have the tiles on them. I don't use them very often though because they don't really match with everything, but when I can use them, I love using them. <laughs> Just adding some archways and figuring out what I'm gonna put up here. At this point, I was like, it would be really cool to have some areas like sectioned off, kind of like the von haunt estate in windenburg but it was making the roofs all weird so everything is pretty much open for the public to check out and kind of touch and look at this point i'm doing the public kitchenette where uh, your sims can make something for themselves or uh, just you know look at it because it's supposed to be from that time period or maybe just a little bit after so I tried to make it look kind of old I wish I could have used that tile I might go back and put it in here I'm just adding some of those ruins on the inside so it looks like it used to be a wall or something that fell down at some point I wanted to add a little more detail to the balcony area so I used some more of those 
uh, little ruin type things that came to get together. And I just used move objects to add them to the top of one of the wall, the half wall sizes. I think it's like a medium half wall. I loved these red benches. I thought it would be so perfect for the front courtyard. In here is just kind of like a little community dining area. This could probably easily be made into a residential lot if you wanted it to be uh, because there's plenty of room on the inside of the mission to, you know, just turn into bedrooms or kitchen. Well, it already has a kitchen, but you can just kind of do whatever you want with it, which is pretty cool, I think, if you wanted to, you know, live in a mission. <laughs> So this is one of the areas that the monks left behind. So this is an old desk with old books and manuscripts that were just kind of left there and they're piled on. And uh, yeah, so I thought that was kind of a cool little idea. To make it feel more like a museum, I added those little informational plaques underneath some of the paintings as well as uh, above the desk upstairs because I wanted it to look more like a museum like the city had you know saved some of this stuff and has some history or information about it that your sims can read and yeah and then the paintings are kind of like maybe the first documented paintings or photos of the mission so that was kind of my idea of it. At this point, I was like, oh, I really should have like a back courtyard. So I basically just copied the fountain that I had in the front and changed it to be a little bit smaller. And then it's, it's a really small courtyard. But if you, you know, are on a date and you want a place that's a little more private, a little more romantic, then... The back courtyard is for you. <laughs> so here I'm just putting some landscaping and I ended up moving everything over a little bit because I wanted the fence to come directly around it. And I used one of the fences that came with City Living, which is the, the little fence with the tile on it. I thought it would be appropriate for this build. At this point, I was putting in a awning because I thought it would be really pretty to have some uh, flowers and some plants growing on top of the awning. Because you see this a lot in Mediterranean or Spanish type builds. They'll usually have like a, a covering over the courtyard that has flowers and things like that. So that's what I was doing here. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm just going to be putting some extra lighting around the place and some uh, added decor items and some finishing touches. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye. El 1905 un hembrón vileldo pasó un soldado del gobierno un buen muchacho mató decía José Coronado muchachos no los engaño cuando pasaban los negros yo estaba dentro de un baño decía Don Sánchez le dijo al maestro preciado por andar en las cantinas que bueno llenos han dado decía un feliz calderón a donde estaba parado no cabe duda teniente yo también estoy asustado